Mangrove forests are one of the most productive ecosystems and biodiverse wetland environments in the world. They are unique ecosystems that can be found along the sheltered coast and have special adaptation that help them to survive in brackish conditions of tidal zones. Mangrove tree grows in salt water along the coastlines. Their habitat is in a constant anaerobic state which means lack of oxygen. Species such as Abyssinia and Sonarasha have special root adaptions to survive. It has special air breathing roots which grow above the ground. The tiny parts of these roots enable mangrove tree to breathe and survive in such harsh environment. Mangrove forests comprise less than 2% of the total land area in Malaysia and it can be found along the sheltered coastlines protected from strong waves. It is mainly distributed in the states of Para, Geda, Selangor, Sabah, and Sarawak. Matang Mangrove Forest Reserve, with an area of 40,000 hectares, is located in the Para state on the west coast of peninsular Malaysia. It was gazetted as a permanent forest reserve in 1906, where it was one of the best managing mangrove forests in the world. Our visit to Matang Mangrove Forest has provided us a comprehensive overview of the management and conservation of mangrove ecosystems in Malaysia. This mangrove forest reserve contains rich and diverse wildlife that provide an opportunity to the nature lovers to visit and explore the uniqueness of the wetlands and resources of mangrove. In this Matang Forest, there are 28 true mangrove species and 13 associate mangrove species, including Rhizopora apiculata, Rhizopora mucronata, Bruguira paviflora, Bruguira sexangula, and etc. In addition, this forest is also a habitat for numerous species of aquatic life, such as crabs, prawns and shrimps, mud lobster, and mud skippers which it is known as ikan belaca in Malay, and so on. Mangrove forests provide a wide range of advantages to the ecosystems and social economy of Malaysia. The most important function of mangrove forests is as a coastal protection. It stabilizes the coastline and prevents erosion from waves and storms. Based on our conversation with the locals of Matang Forest, we found out that besides as a natural protection against the waves, mangroves are also useful in providing resources to the industry such as for piling, firewood, and charcoal production. Once the mangrove reach the age of 15, it will be used for piling, while at the age of 30, it will be cut off to be used as charcoal. He also mentioned that there are several mangrove islands which are named according to their age, such as Pulau 15 and Pulau 30, which means 15-year-old and 30-year-old mangrove islands respectively. After that, we met one of the locals that has worked in Matang Forest previously. Ini uh, makau yang muda-muda ke umur berapa ya? Tak tahu. Ni eh? Uh-huh. Ni lebih kurang dalam 20 tahun dah dah. 20 tahun? Haa. Uh. Oh yang kecil-kecil macam ni. Eh ni ke? Haa ah, ni ke? Ni dia bawa benih dia. Benih. Oh benih. Haa. Tu abang kau ni nak ikut. Haa. Uh, ni buka simpan. Dah buka buka simpan. Dah kena tebang lah ni. Hmm. Haa. Uh, dulu. 30 tahun. Oh tu bang. Uh-huh. Nah, sekarang ni 25 tahun, 20 tahun dah terbang lah. Oh, untuk ar- orang ke? Haa, orang yang. However, due to the increasing demands, the mangroves are cut down before reaching this age. They are cut off at the age of 20 to 25 and this leads to the occurrence of erosions to the remaining mangroves. Since we did not witness the erosion in Matang Mangrove, we visited another mangrove forest located in Tanjong Piandang, Pera. Previously, this area had a wide coverage of a mangrove forest, but due to wide exploitation of mangrove trees, it indirectly caused the loss of protection and thus the area were exposed to the erosion by the sea waves. 
we observe that most of the mangrove forests are already eroded by the sea waves. Some of the mangrove trees are even dead, fully submerged into the sea, and some of them are still existing but in the process of erosion. As we can see that, the waves are slowly eroding the mangrove land and causing destruction. Ini akan bermula dari sini uh, pada asalnya dia kecil saja apabila ombak mukul mukul dia akan jadi uh, dia akan jadi begitu dia akan jadi lebih besar dan akan berlarutan bertahun-tahun dan akan menghakis daratan. Along the sea at Tanjung Piandang, we found out that the Malaysian government has invested about 38 billion ringgit in upgrading and strengthening the mangroves area in order to mitigate the erosion phenomena. From the visit, it can be seen that breakwater and groin structures are constructed along the shoreline of the sea. Breakwaters are connected to the land and arranged parallel with the shoreline. Their role is to calm the waves and to reduce beach and mangrove erosions. While groins, which is made up of rocks, are constructed perpendicular to the shoreline to break up the waves and trap the longshore flow of sand. Despite the demand and importance of the mangrove forest to the ecosystems, the rate of mangrove destruction in Malaysia is increasing. Therefore, a lot of initiatives need to be taken into consideration in order to help mangrove to recover and regain the equilibrium so that it can act as a silent guardian and protector of the coastline.